My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Welcome to my channel, guys. Uh, here in Manuska Valley, Alaska, just getting done with a uh, vacation weekend trip, and uh, come back into Wi-Fi service, and I kind of see what's going on in the cryptocurrency world. And uh, you know, everybody seems to be fretting and uh, kind of fudding everywhere. Seems that they, obviously the price is going down, but there's some weirdness going on as far as the volume goes. And uh, with Bitcoin dominance has gone up, yet everything has gone down. And of course, uh, we'll kind of get into that as far as uh, uh, that goes. But I did want, kind of want to just show you, you know, kind of what I'm hanging out with uh, for the past week or so. Uh, you know, went fishing way up north, didn't have no service for anything. And now I'm back in town. So, um, you know, just kind of want to do a quick video before maybe I hit the airport tonight um, and then uh, take off and go back uh, to my hometown. So uh, let's get kind of right into what we are looking at today. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. But please uh, like, subscribe. Hit the bell, comment below. Uh, it all helps my channel and uh, the dogs I will be rescuing in the future. So uh, let's uh, get right into it here. And let's see if I'm actually showing you what I want to show you. So yeah, so okay, let's get right up in the uh, cryptocurrency market here. 193 billion. I mean, the last time I looked at it, it was like 250 billion. So we lost 50 billion since the last time I was in town um, looking at things. And you know, I'm not really worried. Um, it's just kind of one of those not, those years that we've been having where we have a lot of people coming in the market and uh, they, they really see that they can, you know, hopefully make money in the next year. And again, that's not how exchanges work. That's not how the stock market works. That's not how the coin market's going to work. Um, so at this point, the bears have now taken over, as we all know, and they're just shaking off everybody that just, you know, thought they're going to be on a, on a, on an easy ride, you know, to, to easy money. And again, this stuff is not easy. Anything we do is, you know, if it's harder in life, and obviously not a lot of people can do it, you have a lot more benefit in life. So um, it's just kind of what it is. And I show you a couple pictures of, uh, you know, a fishing trip here. So I did catch a salmon, went all the way up north, and uh, it, it was it was a great trip, you know, out there in the boondocks. But I did catch a salmon, so I uh, did want to show any, everybody. It wasn't a lost trip, and of course that's our campsite. We're all just kind of hanging out, all the boys. And uh, that's the view that I'm in back of right now that I can't really show you from the view um, that I'm sitting at. But that's uh, that's kind of where I'm sitting right now. So and that's obviously us going four wheeling. So uh, it was a good trip. It was a really good trip. I'm kind of winding down now and just kind of hanging out and getting ready for other things. So uh, let's move into some, uh, you know, some technical analysis here real quick. I was going to show you some stuff. Obviously, this is the Fibonacci that I retraced probably about three weeks ago and if not a month ago. And uh, it's now obviously going down to the bottom level where we were a month ago. Um, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? You know, in my eyes, I think it's a good thing. Like I said, I think we're shaking off all the people that thought they were coming in for an easy ride. And uh, it's not so easy anymore. So, you know, there's a couple things I want to touch on, obviously. Our 24-hour volume for Bitcoin is at $5 billion. Okay, why is it at $5 billion if it's at $6,000 price? Again, I've been gone for a week. And sometimes it's good to kind of step away from everything and not look at it so hard because, you know, you start looking at things too hard. You miss the overall picture sometimes, I think, anyways. So, you know, you start looking at Bitcoin, you start looking at the volume and the volume is at five million, five billion. And it doesn't, you know, make any sense as far as everything going down. And then Bitcoin dominance went up five percent from the last time I looked at it. So forty nine percent to fifty four percent. It seems kind of weird to me. So I was going a lot of, um, you know, digging and kind of wondering what's going on here and of course everybody's like well it was the etf thing it was the etf thing and i don't think that's gonna take 50 billion out of the market in seven days um without something else being a catalyst for that and uh, you know i kind of again I, I go a lot with ethereum um i mine it a lot and of course that's not doing very well either but e point is is ethereum had something to do with this um you know you have a lot of apps a lot of dApps uh, everybody's using the erc20 token algorithm and that's ethereum and so since ethereum just took a huge dump it's now at, what three hundred dollars right now yeah two yeah, it's at 260 i mean it just keeps going because everybody's getting out of it because it's not valuable and if it's not valuable at the moment they're going to get out of it and move it into bitcoin and that's with way basically i'm kind of seeing things and obviously the volumes on the exchanges and so on kind of backs me up in that whole um, thought process. So, you know, kind of looking in these fam Unger guys, the steam at fam Unger guys, um, he hasn't posted anything for a week. He says he's on vacation too. But what I really wanted to touch on was the 
bear scenario that he has kind of um, put all his analysts together and kind of set. So if this analyst, they've basically broke the 6,000, we're down at the 6,000 mark. And if we break the 5,800 mark, we're probably gonna go down to the 4,975, 4,300. And uh, I was kind of touching on this on the last video I did as opposed to what may happen, either this is gonna happen or this is gonna happen. And let me show you that, I guess one more time. I may have an image of it up already. Yep, here we go. So on this uh, graph that one of the analysts did on Fam Unger family, he basically that purple area here was a make it or break it area. It's either gonna bounce off or it's gonna start dribbling down. And it's absolutely dribbling down. We, you know, we're hitting the sixth thousand. I mean, it's, it's just going down. So, um, you know, he was right, and whether this was going to happen or this was going to happen, and uh, instead of doing the bull market, we went into a bearish market, and a lot of FUD out there. I mean, a lot of FUD guys, and everybody's just bailing, going into Tether and moving all their Ethereum into Bitcoin or Tether um, and other such things. So um, it's kind of sad to see. I, you know, I hope everybody would hold on, that everybody that knows about stock markets and coin markets, you know, when people are fearful, you get in. When people are not, you stay out. Um, so then that's really the best formula for everything you do. But it's real hard when you're looking at the market really, really closely and not getting the macro view on things. So I wanted to show you this real quick. This is, has the, uh, you know, I've been showing this from the Fam Unger family as well. But this is just kind of showing the averages on every month from every year from 2012, what the percentages were. And last month we had a 21 plus percent. In August, now we're going to have a, a very, very negative number. So are we, you know, what year is we kind of possibly falling in a trend? And everybody says, well, you can't do that. But, you know, and now, you know, analytics, you know, data metrics really do kind of speak for themselves, you know, and, and it may be trendy on that where, you know, we may see a 450% gain at the end of the year. Um, if it stays on that trend, or we may only see a 15% gain at the end of the year, or even a minus, per, you know, percentage. So, it just all depends on how fast we can really shake these people that have been, uh, you know, kind of jumping in the market, which, you know, we love them all jumping in the market and getting into it, but then jumping out, you know, and then be kind of being scared about it. And then it kind of just, you know, hurts the market um, in, a, in the short run. So um, that's kind of the way I see things at this moment. And then, of course, we have, and I told you I'd touch on Empower and these other ones that are um, how to make cryptocurrency without investing money, without mining for, and so on and so forth. And I've been using it. Um, and of course, I haven't been using it for the past week. And because I have advertisement costs, uh, the advertisement costs really hit me. Because I was down up to like two, I think $300 at one point in time. And again, it, it is some considered kind of a passive income, but it is a job. You do have to do something in order to make that money. Um, but if you're just doing things like on Facebook, you're just posting things. You know, I posted a few things from my trip already. And, uh, you know, I've already, you know, I think made like 10 bucks, you know what I mean, in the past, I don't know, 18 hours or so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, I got off of it for a little while. Now I'm back on and everybody's starting to realize I'm back on. So, you know, the money's starting to pump in again as far as that goes. So last but not least, we're going to look at the Crypto Fear and Greed Index. Um, 16 today. Yesterday, 21. Last week when I was looking at it, it was around 23, 26. So kind of makes sense, you know, the, the coin market cap goes down, Bitcoin price goes down, everything goes down at that point. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. You know, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, do your own decision making and risk assessments and uh, make up your own decisions. But um, I, I, everybody's staying strong there, you know, and don't get fearful out of here. I, everybody I've talked to is not getting out. So it's big money putting big footprints in and taking them out. So. Uh, you guys just, uh, you know, hold on tight and, uh, you know, try not to invest um, too deep in the, in the many, many coins at the moment until we kind of see some things turn around. So my name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. And you guys have a great day and I'll get back on when I'm back in town. Keep up the grind. <laughs>